Hey guys, I'm gonna try to prop you up here and make a little video. I'm gonna load a load of paperwood. It's a Thursday night, about I don't know, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Just figured it'd take you long. Don't make fun of me for running this loader. It's a Tiger Cat uh, track machine. And I used to run a truck mounted apprentice for a few years. And I used to be pretty good on that, but uh, this is completely backwards. And if you ever and I got used to running the track hoe, and if you're used to running the track hoe, this thing with the foot swing and the grapple, the grapple opens with your left hand the same one you swing a excavator back and forth with, and that completely all screwed me up for a while, so don't make fun of me for loading here, but uh, loading a bunch of junk, it's uh, crooked as all get out. They're being picky at the mill. I got my butt tour, tour today for having a crooked one. That was, the guard come out and looked at it. He said the loader would have trouble unloading it, which he didn't. He picked it right up off the truck. It curved down and was about, I don't know, six or eight inches down off the frame. He said he couldn't get his forks because it was the bottom log, and he said he couldn't get his forks off, you know, underneath of it to get it off the truck, but. The loader man, he never had a bit of trouble. The guard, he was just wanting, he must have been in a bad mood today, just wanting to be a butthole, I guess. He come running out with his tape measure and his hard hat. He was a measuring and all of them, make sure they wasn't too big and all that crap. He does that some days. Some days he gets in a bad mood, I guess. We all do that, I reckon. That won't lay down there where I want it to go. Like I said, I'm not real good on this thing yet. I like it, just getting used to it. It's uh, been a little bit of a pain in the butt. There we go, get down in there. Fear that'd take you long for a few months here. I don't wanna bore you too much, but this guy's unloading here this evening. One day shift that unloads trucks. He got me hemmed in here, I can't move. There's wood behind me and wood in front of me all the way up to the tracks. I can't trim forward and I can't trim backwards. So I'm trying to clean me out a hole to work here. And get the enough stuff to load the truck so they don't crap about it being too crooked or... They got a lot of wood up there now and they're getting really picky on it. If they was uh, hurting for wood, they wouldn't be quite so picky. Which we got a chipper here, but we don't chip all over. We haul some of it up to the paper mill and let them chip it. I was hauling chips, but uh, they must not have very many orders or whatever at the mill, so they cut the load on it. So they switched me this paper with it. I don't care to which one to haul. It works, work to me. I kind of like playing around with this loader anyway. I'm trying to get my uh, week finished. I got uh, two more loads tomorrow to haul. And then one Friday night, I got to take a uh, load of pine pulp wood to West Virginia to the chip mill. We have up there them where they make uh, warehouser uh, chipboard. We haul up there some. That's where we get the uh, chain, the flail chains to our debarker. We uh, take a box up there, a square metal box, and they fill it full of the used ones they take out of their mill. And we, I guess you call them recycle it. We uh, go through and cut, cut them to fit ours. Ours takes a little shorter chain and there's blue. We can still get life out of their old chain, so we go up there and get them when we take a load of wood. Sally. Ah, crap. Should have gone 
a little farther to the left, I guess. Get down in there, Sally. Yeah. I had a flat today. It's one reason I'm running late. Got a bolt on one of my drive tires. It's still leaking, but the tire shop was closed this evening for uh, by the time I figured out there was a bolt in them. There, way right down there. I might get this one there in a minute. Like I said, I'm not really good. I'm still learning with this thing. I have to think about every move I make with it. If I was used to it, I could just grab them and go, but I have to think about every move I make with the control. I'm going to rearrange that one. It's too long to put it on the top. It ain't laying right. Put him over here next to this one. Lay down there. There we go. That looks a little better. I guess it don't have to be pretty as long as it don't fall off the truck and gets to the mill or it ain't hanging over the sides 10 feet. Well, how the heck that one got busted? He must have busted it picking it off the truck a while ago. Guys, I ain't going to bore you on all. I'm sure you've seen this stuff before, especially uh, Michael McCoy and them. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for uh, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Talk to you later.